actually had a, a costume designer, Seamtress, actually build real clothing and real costumes, and we're using those to create our digital costumes. We're building real life wardrobe uh, and using costume design like traditional film that we're going to photogrammetry and we're going to turn into three-dimensional objects that will be draped over our 3D characters in the films. This is Marion. Uh, she's a refugee. Um, she's seeking asylum from our other character, the Prophet. She's from a society with a lot of technology, but it's Time has passed, so it's all aged. It's a little bit ragtag. There's quite a lot of duct tape. The inspiration, I think, definitely came from Neil. All of it is recycled items um, of pre-made clothing that's been destroyed, painted, melted, duct taped back together, um, and, and layered. I have pillaged a lot of what's laying around in this, this studio. So once I finish these, I get pass them over to the CG department, um, and they will photograph them in the 3D grammatry room. Their idea is that um, when they scan it in, they can get all the textures more in depth than they could if they built it from scratch. We're gonna you know, read the translucency values, everything about these fabrics, measure how they move when someone wears them and walks around, and then re-simulate all of those things so that we're really trying to like lock into something true. For really, really high resolution cloth uh, movement, we simulated that outside of the system, and then we brought that in and um, brought it into Unity. And that simulation would, the, all of the, the difficult pre-computation has been done, but now the computer needs to just render this pre-calculated cloth that looks like it's flowing. It's still unbelievable that the computer can compute that. Unity has some uh, shaders that are specifically, have been specifically made. I can uh, mess with all the, the different attributes of the cloth. Um, for example, I can make it like wool, cotton, whatever. I go into Marvelous Designer and I built the patterns exactly to the specifications. And then I sew them together and put them on this model. Now that, you know, Unity's gotten behind the Alembic support is a super key sort of bridge. We need it to be able to cache large geometry data sets. And it's a way for us, the artists, to work in a very familiar manner and yet still be able to port that stuff very easily into the game. So a lot of subtleties and nuances as the cloth moves and shifts. And then we Alembic cache that into the engine. And so that third piece coming on top of it just adds a level of fidelity I think people aren't used to seeing. It's a weird mixture of a new learning curve mixed with 20-year-old 3D graphics principles.